Like most of us, Beatrice Hirsch loves being outdoors during warm summer months. But when the mercury rises and the warm weather turns into a humid, smoggy haze, that can spell trouble. I do wait for the summer so that I can be outside and enjoy life in the open. But unfortunately, because of smog, it's difficult to do anything. It's the smog that is the great problem. And I feel that I have to stay in more than go out. 27 years ago, Beatrice was diagnosed with the respiratory disease known as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, a condition characterized by shortness of breath and coughing. The two major forms of the disease include chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Dr. Alan Kaplan specializes in the treatment of COPD and is also with the Family Physicians Airways Group of Canada. When you have COPD, every breath is a struggle. The analogy is trying to breathe through a straw all day long. Summer smog is another irritant. It makes breathing even more difficult. So we should try to avoid the irritants in the air. We can do that by going inside to an air-conditioned home. Even a few hours in an air-conditioned environment can help your breathing. And with the number of smog days steadily increasing, it's becoming more and more important that patients speak to their doctors about spirometry testing, once daily treatment, and tips for coping with the smoggy weather. Currently in Canada, there are 750,000 people diagnosed with COPD. But I should add that that probably underestimates the true number by a half to two-thirds. The diagnosis of COPD is made through a simple breathing test called spirometry. Spirometry should be done on people who have smoked or are still smoking and have respiratory symptoms such as cough, wheeze, or recurrent chest infections. Anybody who has smoked uh, and feels any sort of symptoms needs to go to the doctor. It needs to have this simple spirometry test and that will help them. Hopefully it's not serious, but the sooner you catch it, the better it is. For more information about COPD, visit www.copdhelp.ca. Martin Vanderwood reporting.